just outside of St. Louis, so woke up a little bit ago. Got about 12 hours to go, or probably 13, 14, whatever. Just looking to get it finished out today and get unloaded in the morning and uh, hopefully find a load today. I usually don't, you know, make a ramp. This whole AC system has just been a complete crap show. So I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about it and how much I spent on it, why I'm tired of paying for people's mistakes. Especially when their rates are 200 plus, 200 plus an hour. It's just sad, and we're not getting anything extra. Yes, there are good paying loads out there, but they're a lot tougher to find. You have to pay for the, I don't know, it's like 170 a month for the truck stop. Like I only have the basic, the 40 dollar one, but it seems like out east you really don't have to worry, which is nice. But there's just a lot of them. <laughs> that was that first one. And then here's the one from Lincoln. They did that yesterday. They just charged the system and they overcharged it. Of course, they're gonna only put that they put three pounds in because what happened was is the guys didn't know how much it was because it's an aftermarket system, I guess. You should know, you can look up the compressor by part number and the dryer. And how I know that is because Kenworth and St. Joe, they knew how to do that and they found the stuff and they knew exactly what to put in. So they overcharged the system on accident, you know, yeah, it's, it happens. So they put five in and then like the compressor and the clutch and whatnot was just like engaging, disengaging like super fast. And so they're like, oh yeah, something's not right. So what they did is they're like, uh, well, we're gonna suck everything out and then we're only gonna put uh, three pounds in. And I was like, okay, so they did that and the AC worked just fine for a little bit. Then I get uh, probably 10, 20 miles down the road and the engine fan was staying on. So I was like, ah, I don't, I don't think it should stay on that long, but I guess, you know, we just charged the system. So it might just take a little bit to get through, but yeah, um, then I smelled this like burning you know, belt, and so I was like, ah, shit, and I looked, opened up the hood, and I, I didn't really notice anything, and so I was like, all right, well, I don't have any more cold air, so I shut everything off, and at this point, I just needed to keep on going, couldn't turn around and tell them, hey guys, like, please fix this again, but then I stopped in St. Joe, and they knew right away, because they hooked on to the or whatever AC deal and they found out that the system was overcharged that's what caused the compressor and everything else to take a shit really shitty deal so I got 771 in just parts from st. Joe and the guys at st. Joe they knew what they were doing they they were super cool they got me in right away and I'm not saying the guys in Lincoln weren't either they were super cool and whatnot but they it just would have been better if they'd known their stuff a little bit better. And then $863.76 in just labor. We got about over 2000 into this and yeah, I'm just over it. So I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of money back. On the bright side, the AC is fixed. I mean, just had to go through everything completely. So yeah, doing a little bit better than last year because I think I had about four grand into the AC system on my last truck. So it's getting a little better each year and I'm gonna try to get a little bit of money back because you know what, it's just steep too. $206 an hour, man, like our major trucking businesses or companies are trying to kick us out of business. Granted, I know things, prices go up and whatnot, but you don't need to bring your la labor up that much. That's just stupid. All right, Anthony, say what's up. What's and going on, YouTube? He's actually an original. Or TikTok or whatever. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> but uh, he's been he's been watching the channel from the start. So uh, yep. you know, I really appreciate that, man. And uh, so, what do you what do you do then? I'm a lineman now. Oh, lineman. Yep. That's crazy. I hauled hay on the West Coast for 14 years before being a coming lineman. Oh shit. What yep. made you get out of it? Money. Yeah. Yeah. I too much damn money over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I actually went to Lyman school. Did uh, you really? Yeah, when I graduated high school. First semester and oh. then 
Long story short, yeah. Yes, I here ended you up, are. Yep, so. Yep. <laughs> I still got, you know, a ways to go, so. I suppose I should probably uh, get after you know, it. Yeah, so, get hey, after it. All right, it was Nick. nice meeting you. Say, like, uh, brother. say peace to YouTube and right. uh, yeah, peace All right. out later. Peace to you when I'm on again. Just can't win. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, probably low on three on. Sucks not having AC. Oh man, tell you what. So now I'm just wearing my dirty clothes. I look like that. I'm homeless, man. So there is one advantage of having no AC. The white powder donuts, man, they taste really good just at a certain temp and just like lukewarm, it's perfect. So that's one advantage. And I guess I'm staying skinny. Andrew here, he noticed my truck off the interstate, so he decided to stop by and said he's been watching my stuff, so. Been watching for a while. Yeah, that's, uh, it's awesome. See, I, man, I wish I had like something to give you, like nah, some merch good. or something, but. Sight to see off the side of the road. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's so, okay. where are you from? Oh, uh, just the other side of Sanford. Okay, nice. So you grew up, grew up in North Carolina your yeah. whole life? Okay, yeah. cool. So, uh, what do you, uh, what do you do for work then? I work on the farm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Watch Daddy drive trucks just about the same. Oh, sweet. Okay. Hopefully going to get CDOs. There you go. 18. Yeah, I say, how, how old are you? I'm 16 now. Okay. So, two years. And, got a little bit of time to go, but yeah. he's got a nice uh, nice Dodge Cummins right here. Second gen. Nice special. Yeah, I mean, just it's clean. You know, I, I had one back in the day, or I had a couple actually back in the day, but what do you guys do on your farm? You guys just plant or you guys cattle? Cattle. Yeah. How many head you guys got? Well, now we're finishing out a load, so it's probably over 100 feet something. We oh. used to have over 500, but we sold out. Okay, yeah. Stuff's getting too expensive nowadays. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's with everything. What do you plan on doing? You just want to just take hopefully over? I get in, hopefully, I get in a KW about the same. Yeah. daddy has got a red and white one flat top. Oh, uh, boy. Instead of a... Well, you got an M14 on there? Yep, yeah. yep. So it has got a C, C15. Okay. Probably. Yeah. Oh, kitty cat. Yeah. But uh, hopefully get in that and just just drive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Introduce yourself, my man. Man, my name is Mark with MNT Trucking. 
All right. Straight out of Charleston, checking out this pretty ass, go. pretty, pretty <laughs> kid work, man. Oh, yep. man. Got Andrew over here, too. Yep. Yes, but it's unfortunate for Mark. His truck is over there, which it's broke down. He uh, blew an airline. So, yeah, he walked all the way over here. And, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> really, really nice. You did it really well, man. Thank you. I mean, yeah, Adam and the team did, but. Yeah, I can't say I did that anything. Color is just <laughs> as well. All right, well, later, boys. Peace. Out, man. Peace. to their facility, can we get loaded, and then this goes to Iowa somewhere. It's pretty close to Sioux Falls, so that'll be nice. I'll just probably deadhead home. I only had a deadhead 60 miles from where I unloaded, so that's that's good. And this pays four bucks a mile, but I mean, it's light. western out here like 1500 miles i want to say today it's 4700 Yeah, I'm getting her fixed today. So it's, it's a must. I can't do this anymore. Look at him filthy and destroyed my Corona Extra shirt. I reek, sweating, just feel super dehydrated. Uh, yeah. <laughs>